My name is Mark Block, and I'm a thoracic surgeon here in the Memorial Healthcare System. I'm chief of the division of thoracic surgery, and I've been here for about 12 years. Medicine kind of came naturally to me because I was always very interested in science, and I came from a background that valued uh, professionalism. Surgery came naturally because I was always the kid who tinkered with things, taking them apart, putting them back together, trying to understand how things work. So surgery was kind of a natural fit with that interest. In surgery, there's a very direct influence. You have a, a problem, you make an intervention, you do something with your hands in engineering, building, taking apart, putting back together to try and fix a problem. So it's a very concrete application of my own technical skills in combination with my understanding of the physiology to help make things better. Developing a rapport with the patient is a critical component in achieving good outcomes. Whether it's people who recover quickly from surgery or patients who feel as though they've gotten the best possible care whether or not you do the surgery. And developing that rapport is built upon a personal relationship as well as a level of trust. So I think the first thing is to be a person and to introduce myself to patients, to let them know I'm here, I'm focused on them, my sole interest is in helping them get better. I think you also need to develop a sense of humor. There are times to be serious, but I think there are also times to add a little bit of levity to this situation, to let people know that you're a person too, and that they can relate to you on whatever level they want. I'm very proud of what we can offer as a thoracic surgery department here. The technology that we use, the operations that we do, and doing them well is important to make sure our patients get better quickly and have the right outcome. But before you ever step foot in the operating room, you have to figure out exactly what's wrong and make a decision about the right thing to do. Now, I had a, a mentor many years ago in academic practice who told me that whenever she would get a little card or a gift from a patient thanking her for caring for that patient, she would put it away in a little box. And whenever she had a tough day or was working late or things didn't quite turn out right, she would open up that box and pull out a couple of those cards and read them because it reminds you of what you are doing for the people you care for. And there's no other profession that gives you the ability to do that on a daily basis. Thank you.